Welcome back to the Becker Lounge. I'm Dalit Breen and I'm joined again by Jimmy Bokakis, who is our Director of Critical Infrastructure. We're continuing our fascinating discussion concerning communication challenges faced by critical infrastructure providers. Now, Jimmy, welcome back. Hi, Dalit. It's good to be back. Lovely to see you again. Um, last time you explained to us that critical infrastructure providers essentially are service providers who bring us um, a range of services to help keep society running as safely and pleasantly as we want it to be. And you explained that today um, communication is actually critical, um, mission critical even, to help them run their op uh, operations better and more efficient. Now, we left that at the point where I wanted to know, you know, why why the why the current communication system that they that they actually use are not up to scratch and what the challenges are that they're facing today with their existing communication networks so the needs are constantly changing so as technology advances further uh, you have a variety of applications a variety of devices uh, all sorts of things that are being added to these networks so things like high definition cameras or applications that run analytics, visualization software, all these added features require higher capacity and bandwidth than what was previously needed or what's currently in place today. Uh, so in essence, what we're looking at is we need to create a much bigger pipe uh, to tra transport much larger data at faster speeds, in some cases over longer distances, and of course in a much shorter time. Okay, so I understand they need more bandwidth, uh, higher capacity in order to actually use uh, modern uh, communication technology to help them carry out their missions better. Is there anything else? Uh, yes, there is actually delete. So all these applications that I refer to, they all rely on low latency. So latency being the time it takes to transmit uh, a certain amount of data over the network. Uh, so low latency is extremely important to transmitting that data quickly with no delays. Uh, this becomes extremely important in cases like video transmission, for instance, uh, where a delay can cause a drop in the feed or interrupt the transmission of any of the pertinent data that's traveling. Uh, so the reliability of the connectivity is extremely important as well. Uh, if, a, if a connection experiences some sort of downtime, uh, critical infrastructure agencies may lose that critical communication at a vital moment. Uh, they simply can't tolerate this because in some cases that kind of could be the difference between a life and death situation. Okay, so I understand that existing communication networks aren't able to cater for the needs of those new communication uh, technologies, whether it's the um, real-time data transfer, um, real-time videos, or, or, or large data analytics, as you mentioned. So, so uh, critical infrastructure providers must invest in the networks and to upgrade it in order to help use technology to carry out their missions much, much better. So, Jimmy, thank you so much for, for um, enlightening me again today. Um, what now, obviously, is a burning question is what can we as Saragon do to help critical infrastructure providers? Um, we're going to talk to, about this next time. So, at this point, I want to thank you again for joining us. Um, and we'll, we'll see you again in part three of our little mini-series. Well, thank you for having me, Dalit, and looking forward to the next conversation with you. Absolutely, thank you. This is the Becker Lounge. I'm Dalit Breen. Thank you for joining us today. And I want to invite you, as always, to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. See you next time.